to our Christmas presentation. Your children have prepared their recitations and songs for you today. You will notice a Christmas tree up front. And unfortunately, this tree is dark. There are no lights shining. Our children will help us light our tree today as they share with us the Christmas story. To begin our Christmas tree lighting celebration, Let's have a moment of prayer. Let's bow our heads, hold our hands, close our eyes. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for these kids and the message that they will share with us. We ask your blessing upon their message that it may influence our life to remember what Christmas is all about. You sending your son, Jesus, into this world to save us from our sins and give us everlasting life in his name. We thank you for him and the gift he has given us through his sacrifice on the cross. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned. The red lights on our tree remind us of the sins we have done. The Bible says our sins are red like crimson. Isaiah 1.18 says, Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Because of God's great love, he planned to send his son Jesus to rescue us from all our sins. John 3.16 says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. The next color on our tree takes us to the wonderful night so long ago. It all began in the Bethlehem manger when God sent Jesus as a baby born to Mary and Joseph. The blue lights on the tree remind us of the dark blue sky that covered the tiny village of Bethlehem. These tell us the Christmas story again. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, 
They spread word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told.
coming out today and letting us share the Christmas story with you. We wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.
uh, love seeing them come in and seeing, being able to just interact with them in the hallway. That, that brings joy and uh, to me, especially uh, during break, it's really quiet and uh, I, I don't like that quiet in the building over there. So I, I really appreciate you guys sending your kids to our school. Merry Christmas and God's blessing to you all in the new year.